Here we go. Hello, welcome to Retro Break Gameplay. I'm so excited today because I got a tweet earlier. I follow a, a Twitter page called World of Illusion, or Forest of Illusion, I think it is actually. And they sort of document unreleased games and ROM dumps and things like that. And this one is one that I've been looking forward to for so long. This is the N64 version of Dinosaur Planet. Completely playable, apparently. There might be a few glitches, so hopefully it's not too bad. But I'm so, so excited. Star Fox Adventures was one of the games back in the day that I was just so hyped up for. And I know it had a very long development cycle and I've been really interested in the development of that game for a long time now. So to be able to see this and actually play it for myself is just an incredible experience. So let's see what it's all about. It's been a long time since I've played the GameCube one, so let's see how much I can actually remember and see how much is different. As far as I remember, this bit's more or less the same, just obviously with worse graphics. This is General Scales' flying airship, if I remember right, and you have to fly around and shoot the cannons. And then we'll be going to Crisoa Palace and doing a bit of crystal before you meet with Star Fox. So let's see if all of that is actually in this build of the game. Hopefully my control is connected and working okay. Seems alright. Yeah, so this bit's the same. I think you start by shooting these cannons. The graphics are actually pretty good considering it's on the N64. I always thought the GameCube one just looked incredible. And this isn't actually that different, surprisingly. I think this is quite a late build for the N64. This one was um, a 2000 build. I think they actually started making the game a few years before that. So there might be a few more similarities to the final game compared to some of the earlier builds that were in screenshots and magazines at the time. So it'd be really interesting. It'd be great if they could find an earlier version as well at some point in the future. Okay. Blast the head. That was easy. Let's see if they keep the weird Krizoa speak. The really interesting thing about this ROM in particular is the fact that this actually has Star Fox as a character. I never actually knew that they did it on the N64 with Star Fox, I thought that was only on the GameCube version. So when I saw that today I was just like, wow, I, I mean people didn't even know that this version of the game existed. That's just how, how cool and how exciting this is for so many people. Tap or hold the Z button, press the A button to hit with the sword, press B to dodge. I think this bit's the same. I'm not sure what the controls will be for me using this uh, controller. So dodge with Y and attack with B. This is more or less the same, if I remember right. I'm not sure if the frame rate's bad because I'm recording, or whether it's just generally bad frame rate. So I picked up a gem, these can be used to power magic spells, just work over to collect them. Keep a look out, it's not only found on baddies. Okay. Smash this box open. What do we have here? Very Zelda inspired. Energy eggs. Sharp claws keep them hidden in crates and baskets. Walk over to collect them. That's something else I was really excited to see is how the UI is different to the final game. Um, when they first showed off the GameCube game, it actually had a different UI to what the final game had. And for the longest time I was just fascinated by the, the changes that this game had over its development. So it's so cool to be able to see this. Is General Scales. General Scales, ruler 
Oh, it's all in English. This theater of the shop door drive. That was unexpected, that's cool. Animal girl. My name is Crystal, and I've come for the princess. I wonder if she Crystal's voice lines are the same as the ones that they used on the game I can't believe the wizard actually. Or whether they're actually different. Dirty work. <laughs> this is kind of making me want to go back and play the GameCube game again now. I did really love it. I know some people complain that it's not a proper Let's Star Fox game and all nice that. And he's agreed to I'm take a rest for a while. Bothered about that. I just thought it was a good game. Taken over the plan. You I was a big fan of Rare back then. Ah yes, Princess Kite. Your mother. Once I don't remember Princess Kite. Animal. Then we'll pay your mother a visit. I think and that's the same. Try. I remember that but camera angle. Kill right. me before you can save the princess. Man, I was always so impressed when N64 games had full voice acting. The first time I played Conker's Bad Fur Day, my mind was blown that I could fit on one N64 cartridge. And it just disappeared. They did warn that maybe because of using emulators, some of the um, graphical features of the game might not show up properly. So if there are any glitches later on, I apologise for that in advance, but I don't have an Everdrive for the N64 at the moment. I'm okay, I think. Maybe in the future if I get one, this could ship? be something that I'd do a full playthrough of. If the full game's even playable, because I know they said they might need to patch some bits to make them work a bit better. But hopefully we at least get to uh, Thorntail Hollow, I think that's the, the name of the main area. Funky music. Oh, this is just so cool to see. I wonder how many other people were just so excited when they saw that this morning. It has been a long time since I played this, so I don't really remember that much. to say about this cutscene. We could have made that a bit shorter, I'd say. Oh, come on, don't crash. No! Has it crashed? In the cage. Right, I think I've managed to get a little bit further using a new program called uh, Project 64 for Windows. So let's see if that helped. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the controller to work, so we're going to be using the keyboard for this section. Which might make it a bit awkward, because I don't actually know what keys do what. But at least we've got a little bit further into the game. I'll go and find the wizard. He'll get you out. Let's go and find the wizard. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got a map, we've got some enemies, there's a first person view by pressing W. Um, yeah, probably not going to be able to get very far without um, having some sort of control way because I can't lock on to anything. And there's some floor missing there. There's a dead dinosaur. There's another one. Press Z if you get close to a dinosaur and you can talk to it. I don't know how I'm pressing every button I've got. Help. I tried using the controller, but it just wasn't responding. Um, so L is... Okay, Z is space. And L is Q. So. And then X. That worked. 
okay, I have no idea what's going on there. The wizard will help you. So there's some glitches going on. Our king sent us here to protect him. But scales, a beard. Oh no, don't glitch out on me. I'm really... Did they just disappear? Yeah. That sounds very much like Spyro the Dragon. Am I going to be allowed to get past here? Crystal. Can we get through two at once? No. This is really awkward playing it on a keyboard. So space, space to lock on, and X to attack. Sounds like he's snoring. Someone's calling for me still. So, do I have to push? So maybe I'd have to push that block onto the switch. Surely I have to push one of these boxes into that switch. They just keep breaking. You can't come here, you come to me. Maybe that's as far as I can get in this. If I even move, that's just going to lift back up. Crystal. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's as far as I can get. I don't know how much of this game was actually playable or finished. So, I'm kind of stuck unless there's any options in the emulator to uh, skip through walls or anything, but I don't think there is. Well, maybe I'll leave it there, see if anyone else has uploaded any other videos. So thank you for watching, that was quite interesting, even though I couldn't actually play that much of it. I, hopefully I can get a bit further in the future, maybe I'll do a part two. So thank you all so much for watching, let me know what you thought of this, and I'll see you next time for the next uh, Retro Break gameplay video, which might be turning into kind of a Let's Play channel, I haven't quite decided yet. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.